you know, I must say that I feel extremely proud to having been part of this jury this year, because I think we really made history and it was a brave jury to be making a statement like this nowadays. And what I really liked about my fellow judges was that we all had our opinions. We all had strong personalities, but the level of the debate was very high. And I loved how everyone was passionate and talking about their own point of view and also how willing to change their opinion because, um, you know, I think this is also important to be able to change the opinion. And so I couldn't believe it that we actually went for the picture of the year that we decided to. And that was a very emotional and amazing moment for all of us because we are aware of what it means to go out with a picture like this. It has a perfect aesthetics and compositionally wise, the lighting is so painterly, it's an amazing picture. At the same time, he has a political strong value because it is not just about gay people in Russia. I believe it's about love and hate, as Matt said. I think what it does is that it brings people to think more, to be able to be silent, and it brings it even one step before the actual violence. Like, where do all the wars come from? From hate, from fear of something different from you. It also gives an important message to photojournalists. I'm thinking about a lot of young photojournalists around the world that are doing an amazing work and, you know, they risk their lives every day. And, uh, but, you know, it's a way to say photojournalism is not just about war. It's also about social issues, it's about intimate stories, it's about being able to find those intimate stories and follow them with a very authentic and individual approach. You know, it's like, uh, please look around, look around, look around near you, and maybe you'll find a story that is not just the spot news story that is in front of you. I'm... Um, extremely moved and proud to have uh, Andy Rochelli's work in the portraits. What makes it extraordinary, this story, is that it almost looks like a fashion shoot, and it's not. It's with real people, real houses, real things. So this is, was also my argument in the general jury, and everyone loved the story, really, from Michelle to Donald. So it wasn't in our task to have it winning. For the single images in portraits, again, I am extremely proud of our choices. And uh, I'm also proud that the choices we made in our first jury weren't then changed in the general jury. And there is a picture that is haunting me, which is the picture of uh, the kid with the purple dress covered and uh, I think it's just such an amazing, magical picture. It sort of has some Diane Arbus in it, but like colored Diane Arbus. There's mystery. You don't know why she's covered. And she looks like she's pregnant because just because of the shape of the dress. It's, it has all of those things that I was telling you about that I think a portrait, a good portrait should have because there's mystery, there's different layers. There's, a, um, so... That was my favorite images of all. And then I think the Chinese one is so strong and, again, multi-layered. As you can't see her face, but from the body posture, you see how humiliated she is and how sweet she is, too. So, and then the black and white portrait of the Halloween girl. It's stunning. Uh, so I'm very, very satisfied with her choices.